There are the legs. There's only eight of them. There should be nine, but you know, little Fushta. Fushta. Little miracles. Here are two of the three completed strut pieces. And here's a third one, which I will complete on camera. Impact wrench, number two square head, and I'm using these three inch deck mates. Uh, yeah, three inch deck fast. So they're a square head, they've got a tapping drill head. They go in like that. This Bosch drill is awesome. For 12 in for 12 volt stuff. It's pretty hard to beat it. You don't want to drill too far because you'll come out the other side since it's three inches. Now I put I'm putting 10 of these in each, and you don't have to do that. I just have a lot of them. And yeah. So, what about Bob is on? That's just perfect distraction stuff while you're working. And I took these pieces and I found where the bow was and if there was a space like if I can get it so there was a bow like this and just screw it together and everything's nice and straight now the question comes of putting the legs on now problem with this is either I have to pre-drill giant holes through this about that far and then put those same exact screws in the rest of the way. Or I gotta do brackets on the side. I probably don't wanna do brackets. I'm not gonna show pre-drilling this stuff, but it's definitely gonna be four, four each. One, two, three, four. Pre-drill, you know, that far down, leave an inch of wood, and then straight through two inches into that. And then it should hold uh, just about anybody, anybody on earth. All right, before I do my drilling, let me show you how I'm going to go about this. Uh, this is exactly 3 8 I'm going to drill exactly a 3 8 hole so that I can get this in there to finish the drilling. So here's my 3 8 drill bit. Here's the screw I'm going to use. I'm drilling down this side, and here's where the leg's going to be on this. Now I want to get about that. I want to have all this thread in the leg, which means this has to drill down exactly that far. Uh, did I fuck that up? I think I did. I should be doing this with a marker, but I'm on camera and I don't have a marker. And then what you do is you put a piece of tape at the exact depth you want to stop. <laughs> Bam. So now I'm going to know as I'm drilling these four per and the six fuck, 36 holes. I'm drilling these 36 holes. I'm going to be able to stop precisely at the right depth. <laughs> We're going to make a mess. I'll do the first four on camera so I can make a mess on camera. Now, I don't have any way to sort of... If this was a, I've had a drill press. This would be a lot straighter and neater, but we're just sort of guessing here. If you're going to screw up, screw up down and in because you want to get to the leg and not out the side, so... Oh, clutch is enabled again. One. Not enough torque. That's where 18 volt tools come in. All right. 40, well, 34 more to go. All right. Uh, little baby life tips going on here. Because I'm using 4x4 four four in the legs, there's one that's complete. Because the grain goes this way, you do not want a screw drilling into this without a pilot hole. It'll just split and be useless. It's even split in its own from just drying. So that means we've got to pre-drill. Now, I don't have a drill bit long enough to go through that hole 
and then through this wood and then into this wood. So, the method I'm using basically involves you getting these screws through enough to put poke marks in the wood. Which is gonna look like that. That's plenty. Now, you can spend all day figuring out which side you want to drill. Mm. I'm gonna get it level, is number one. Put a leg under a bolt. You don't want to do this sideways. Now, I'm lining this up basically by eye, between those lines and equally on both sides. And once you have it there, and once you feel good about it, hammer time. And what you've just done, don't lose the orientation of this, by the way. What you've just done is fucked up. Let's try again. They were slightly biased to this side. Fuck ups happen. Fuck ups happen. All right, here we go. So the four set of the set of four holes that is further west. I'm just going to pre-drill these out. Now, keep in mind, I don't know the orientation of these screws, whether it's going to be this, that, or that. So we're just basically going straight down and hoping that that's enough to keep the wood from splitting. Okay. So now we can put our sawdust in a box. A vacuum will have to happen. Remember, don't lose the orientation. Don't spin this around. We're going to line this up. Make sure that's still on the leg there. You do not want to start screwing this in when it's crooked because you're going to put some weight down on this. Like this, in fact. And a little bit at a time. A little bit there. A little bit there. That one went all the way. That one went all the way. All the way. And it's going to get stuck. I had to run to the hardware store and buy the extension because I could not get my this, this extension bit with the regular one there. This, this wouldn't fit because I didn't have a 7 16 to fit my other drill. And was, bleh, bleh, bleh. But anyway, that is now permanent. Much permanence. Uh, I've also decided I'm not putting a center leg because that's just ridiculous. I'm not parking a car in this thing. I'm just sleeping in it. And I'm a big guy, but I, I ain't that big. I don't, need, I don't need nine pieces of 4x4 four four to hold my weight up. So, two legs. It's going to give me more room to move around under the bed and do other fun things. So, more to go. All right, I know there was a vested interest in my bed frame from some of you. And uh, here are those three trusses that I made. Went to home, actually went to Lowe's. Had them cut this piece of uh, particle board. I had to buy two 4x8 sheets because I needed the 53 inch width and you can't do that unless you buy two. And I had them cut, I only need really six of these, but I had them cut eight and then there's two, actually there's four giant pieces left over. Not bad considering the whole bit of wood costs about 40 bucks. All the wood. Now I put little um, felt pads on this so that should the bed move, doesn't start banging into the walls because it is rather tall. There's a little bit of space, that's fine. I'm gonna push it towards that wall. Get everything here centered up. I gotta get my um, square out, make sure I'm coming straight off, which I don't think I am with this. Make sure my legs are straight. And then I'm going to pilot hole, and then I bought 
These are the uh, high performance exterior screws with the star tip. And they're just the right length that I need. And they shouldn't screw around when you drive them in. I'm probably going to do, at least in the ends, two, two. The middle ones, I may just do one, 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 because they're just going to be held in place ridiculously strong anyway. So, I'm standing in it. And look at, look at that massive bed. I could fit a queen size bed and a full size bed in this room by like an inch. So, uh, yeah. My work light. There we go. Let me continue what I'm doing. Talking, doing, gotta, gotta things, things have to happen. All right, uh, I had a couple different widths because the guy messed up when he was cutting them. And I just took a measurement. I wanted to make sure I got the, enough boards long enough. And I had to switch this one out with a longer one. This is the longest one I have. It's like 12 and a half inches. So we're looking at six foot plus, what, 60, 73 inches? 75 inch mattress, that's perfect. Uh, there's a bit of a rock in the entire frame, and I will deal with that down here. Isn't that nice down here? Now, uh, I'm also going to probably cut this corner so that my testicles and knees and legs don't get fucked up real bad. Yeah, I can cut it all the way back to a nice curve with my re reciprocating saw. Reciprocating saw. And, uh, yeah. So I've only got the, that one screwed in and only with one because I want to be able to move the legs. And then I'm gonna, I was going to screw on the last one, which I can do now that I have it in place. And I know where it's ending. Just so that I'm... It sucks when you like start and then screw and then screw. And all of a sudden things are twisting as you go. You always want to do front, end, get everything right. And wherever the middle falls, it falls. Yes. Platform. Platform in my bread room. All right, I uh, got this attached, got a couple of those along the way, and then I realized I could fix that rocking real easy. Uh, this second board, because that corner is obviously shoved in that corner. All these were shoved in to that wall. But this board here, I put the pads on this side, and I cranked it over. I pushed this over as hard as I could. I wedged something in here. And that second board, I cranked over with that bracket on the box. It was meh. Screwed that in, screwed it in the middle. So now this is holding onto this wall. Everything else is holding onto that wall. You can dance on this now. I may dance on it. Maybe not on camera. <sighs> Those boxes, unfortunately, um, may never come out until the bed's gone. Because they're supposed to slide out between the rafters here. So obviously the bed's going. Uh, an actual computer desk will be in this corner, or maybe even a sim rig. It's exactly the size of a queen size bed. So if you can fit a queen size bed and you can fit a sim rig, that'll be my choice. And I'll probably do up this side over here under the guns will be a workbench for soldering and everything else. And eventually I'll get a drill press and put it in the corner and my cloak coats are fine. And then that saw, the big saw, I'm probably going to leave vertical and against the wall and build a panel saw like they used to cut this at Home Depot or Lowe's. Thoughts? She's been playing on it all. All right, all done. Corners cut. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up putting more of this LED track light stuff. Uh, spool light. It's not rope light. What do you call it? You get it on a roll. A roll light. A roll of LED light. Probably gonna put some under here. All around. It's gonna light the floor. It's gonna look awesome. I'm also probably gonna put another section down the middle so that if I'm looking for something in a box it's just lit up. It uses no power so I don't care. Yeah it's gonna look nice. I might even dress up this leg. There's three legs exposed you can see down there and I could wrap them in fabric. They actually sell post wraps but they're like forty dollars a piece and I'm just shoot me. I'm not paying that much for fiberglass. Now to dress something up and the, the I measured it the mattress is gonna stick an inch and a half off of this way. It's going to be a tight fit in there. Once I get the sheets on and shove it in, it should be right. And I just pull it out every time I want to change the sheets. But uh, I'm also an inch and a half over here. And I shouldn't hit any parts of me here. You know, parts. Parts that matter. 
And uh, yeah, and I could fully stand on this because of the extra high ceilings. So, how high up are we? Top measure? Twenty-six inches to this platform, which is roughly the size of the entire bed here. And the mattress I ordered, I ordered a mattress from Casper, because they're you know the cheap alternative, new age, better than Tempur-Pedic thing, and those are ten inch thick. So, bam, bam. But I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in that section there. Something awesome could happen there. Like I could literally have. I could pile pillows up, have a triple head that descends, and I could slay in bed and play on triple head monitor, it would be amazing. I also may get a mini projector, I'm not, it's, it's expensive, it's like $500 for one of those little micro 720p projectors, Pico projectors, and just shoot at that wall, because I'll have my computer desk there, but probably nothing above it. And if I could lay in bed and bamp, then I will bamp. So I'll have multiple projectors going on in this household. Stuff and things. Many things and stuff. 